No, my mum lent me one as well. Um, was Our it... mum is the same person. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome back Hello. to the channel. If you're new here, hello, my name is Noah, and we talk about books and game books and other things, but I'm here with my lovely big sister. This is Janine. She is the mother of, as some of you have listened to the stories as we go on about books, she is the mother of uh, the serial killer nephew who's 10 now. 10, yeah. 10. Um. <laughs> you know what he did recently? What? He got, uh, well, he accidentally was locked out. Only for half an hour. Yeah. I go home and there was a pentagram, pentagram draw in the driveway because it's like a bit of a sandy driveway. Yeah. So he asked him, why did you draw the pentagram? I wanted to know what hell was like. Right. All right, mate. <laughs> what did you say to that? That's kind did of you go? <laughs> did you go? <laughs> what was no, it like? He realised he was on hell. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, no, he's he was already in hell in his mind. In his mind. He is going to be a serial killer. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So, tell everyone a little bit about yourself then. So, I'm Janine. I'm Noah's big sister. Married, mum of two. <gasps> That's about it, really. <laughs> kind of... no, I'm not an interesting person. <laughs> you are, you are. You, you practically raised me, technically, in a way. I always tell people that you did, anyway. Yeah. yeah. Um, what kind of books do you like to read? Um, anything, really. I, I, love, I love my crime stories. Oh yeah, we do like crime. We like yeah, true I love, crime. love true crime. Romance. Fourteen novels. <laughs> do you matter it? No, no, that's the boom. I mean, I think everyone likes a little bit of, of uh, sauciness in their life. Oh, even yeah. if it's in like book form. Oh yeah, definitely. I have been reading um, Richard Osman. He does this series called The Thursday Murder Club. Yeah. It's about a group of old people. Pensioners. Okay. No, no, no. It's really good. At first I was like, I'm reading this. But... I think there's four, I've read three of their four, and it's so good, and I, I just love it. I love the characters, everything. Pensioners? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, see, the, but when you try and explain it to someone, yeah, it just doesn't come across right, but this, the, the, so one of them was like, worked like MI5 or something like that, Yeah. and they've got cold cases, and I managed to solve it, there's also crimes going on just around crimes. them, yeah. <laughs> the best book I ever read, I can't remember what it was called, was it like Thor, Rose's? Thorns or roses in the attic or something. Mm. I think it was with you when I bought it. Or like petals, flowers in the attic. Oh, like Waterstones, yeah. Yeah. I, I, I actually love that, that book, so I like bought the second one. Teenage Rebel. That was probably the best series I've ever. ever oh, the YA ever. books. Like, young yeah. adults. Young adults. <laughs> Not by <bad, like> middle <laughs> age. Teenage books. books. <laughs> Do you mean YA? What's that? Eh? Young adults. Oh, I'm, not, I'm not down with the, the young people. No, so <laughs> here's the thing, though. YA is not teenage books. Oh, right. YA what? is young adults, so that ranges from... There's different kinds, right? So that's from, like... YA is from, like... I think, like, 18, 19 to, like, 25. Oh. Well, because I've... We, if this is 25, I'd be old enough to be a 25-year-old's mother. Maybe I had a child at 13. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's so... You know, I, I am way past 25. I'm middle-aged. But that's, it doesn't matter. I have a couple of books I've read that are YA. But the thing is, though, is that some of the books that are, are like, labelled as YA, they're not, like, YA. Yeah. Like, they'll be, like, books on my shelf. A Court of Thorn and Roads, is that serious? YA. Really? <laughs> Shouldn't be. I know, yeah. <laughs> I know mean, what you told me. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Tadbarn over there. <laughs> Biting her neck and dry humping for yeah. 15 seconds. So you're the Corolla. <laughs> Timberland boots. Oh, jeez. <laughs> what got you into it? For me, I just find it relaxing. I just find I just love being just being able to switch off and read. Yeah. I just love it. The escapism. Yeah. Another good book. That's it. Go I'm on. going to have to explain this now. No, okay. Well, it's I'm not ready. gonna. It's not gonna sound good. Try um, me. I've got a quarter of and roses behind me. Go for it. Well, I've I've got those too. So I've recently read one that I borrowed from my mum, The Midwife of Auschwitz. You see, it sounds really sick. No, 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 so no, no. it's about someone who, obviously, a midwife in Auschwitz, and there's a little bit of truth. There was a midwife in Aus Auschwitz, but, like, names and things would change, and that, that was probably the only book that made me actually cry. It was so, so good. So is this one of them, them true stories that is kind of put into, like, a story type of form? Like, we used to yeah. read books by Tori Hayden. Yeah. Who loved her books, don't know what she's been doing for the past few years, but yeah. hers were all about how um, she, she helped 
kids that yeah, were, like, were going through some some yeah. bad shit. So that type of thing. Like, like I that. don't see how that's bad just because the name has got Auschwitz I know, in it. But people see it. And then there's another one called Two Girls Lost. I thought you were going to say Two Girls Won't Go, but I was like, <laughs> oh, I've yeah. seen that video when I was in college. Oh, I yeah. heaved. No. I think just hearing about it is enough. It's bad. To make me do that now. Anyway, what's this one? Two yeah, girls. So what's it called? <laughs> two girls lost or something. Yeah. I've, I've, that, I've read that a couple of times. It was that good. So it's about two get yeah, obviously two girls. So they grew up in Germany. So it's actual true story. Mm. And I think it was like Second World War, but it was towards the end. So they decided, their older sister decided to travel from one den, end of Germany to the other with a little sister to, to go to the mum. And he said about oh, everything damn. the scene, what they did. It was just, it was absolutely brilliant. I've actually read it a few times. I might need to read that. It's yeah. really good. I used to have it, but then I went through a phase of like, oh, well, I've read it a few times. I don't need it. I just got rid of a load oh, of Oh, you unhauled. Yeah. Which I kind of regret now because now I'm back into my reading. Yeah. And I think I'd, I'd love to read that again. So, uh, same thing. That's why I started getting my books back. Yeah. Like, Oh, it's when you realise that you want to get back into something, you're like, they're all gone. Yeah. <laughs> Why did what I was do the that? book that I really enjoyed reading a couple of times? Yeah. But, I, but that's the thing, I'm not 100% sure if it was actually called Two Girls Lost. <laughs> you gave me a name. <laughs> and you. No, it could be called. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it could be called something completely different. But. I can't remember. <laughs> But I think it was something along along them lines. Along them lines, yeah. Oh, we're gonna have to do research on this. Yeah, yeah. We'll have to get it, and then we can read it and we can do absolutely. a review. Yes, absolutely. We can do a review it. together. You think you can? No, it's not. No, it's someone else. No. <laughs> is that your cat? <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> Meowdy. <laughs> no, I don't have a cat. <laughs> oh, who's that pussy then? <laughs> <laughs> Why did you call me? <laughs> oh, chap. <laughs> So what about you? You like your sci-fi, don't you? No, I'm only new into sci-fi. Really? My main thing is horror. Oh, I have a lot of horror, horror, but oh no, I I I am a whore for horror. Yeah, I'd love um, to read more horror. Well, it depends because it's so horror branches off into other, I know, into like other kind of genres. Yeah, so it depends on what kind of genre that you're wanting mm. with it. <laughs> 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 You know, I'm a, I'd, get, I'd try any sort of book. I wouldn't necessarily say that I only like this book. Yeah. I just like true crime because that's one of my, my interests. I do love my no, true I love, crime. Yeah, no, same. But just because maybe I've never read, I found a good horror book that I like. Yeah. And, you know, that all it takes is to find one. And then you find, like, a, you know, you, you research this author, you get more of the books. Yeah. And then sometimes in the back of books you get recommendations and things. So that's how you, that's how you find out. That's true. I oh, here's a thing. How do you feel about people? You think, for example, dog ear in a book. You know, at the top of the page, the dog ear oh, a book. Okay. Or if they write in the book. Oh no no! <laughs> <laughs> sacrilege! Sacrilege! No. <laughs> I, when I was younger, I did use a dog ear a no. book. Yeah, but now I'd much prefer a bookmark. And I know this is really sad. So I will quite often sit there read a book, and where I open the page, I'll put the bookmark in. And I'll just read and read and read. And then when I stop, I'll like get my bookmark. I was like, oh, I've read that many pages. I love that. I'm that sitting actually, actually, it sounds like, it sounds like a really good idea. So I don't have to do that. So good. I'm going to have to dig that now. Yeah. Oh. And it's like when my husband comes, I'm like, Dave, look how many pages I've read. <laughs> <laughs> what is that thing? <laughs> that thing, that's 10 pages. <laughs> <laughs> I know one of your biggest pet peeves is. <laughs> yeah, that's all I need to say. Yeah. <laughs> when, when, there's people who do it, they go. There's a video Ben sent me on TikTok which I absolutely hate. It's this guy's read half a book, rips it right down the middle, goes, don't need that bit anymore, I've read that. Oh, and I'm there yeah. like, oh, that's how you read a book, but how are you meant to go like this? No, I don't. I, I, I open the page. <laughs> okay, let me... I yeah, open I'm the page. I get... Show it here. This is opening the page, I read yeah, my Yeah, okay, no, I get that, I get that. But sometimes, I think maybe just the way I see it, I don't know. <laughs> no. Oh, I've got one for you. Okay. So someone on. I follow on Instagram. So she was really into the, you know, a court. Oh, so, Akita, yeah. Akita. So she had the books, and what she did was she. Oh, she binds it herself. Yeah. Love that. Do you like that? Would you do that? Would she? Yeah, if I had the the tools to do that, I would okay. absolutely love to do that. Yeah. First of all, I just think it takes too much time, and I can't. Do so with much them. time. Yeah. But I, I didn't think you'd like that. Oh yeah. I genuinely thought when they make them look beautiful, like that and it's still. That's the only type of like book destruction that I like. 
Oh, right, okay. <laughs> they make it look more beautiful. Like, some of the covers, like... I know you have got some really nice. I, I like the look of this one here. The stars too fondly. Yeah, that one's just Emily come out. Hamilton. I've just got that. I mean, I would like to borrow it from you, but I'm too scared of like it getting ruined. So... <laughs> I'm not that bad. No, you would be. I are, but I'm just. I don't want to ruin. I'm not that bad. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, here's the thing. Pet peeves about characters in a book. Oh god. So I hate characters who don't listen. So you say, you know, don't do this, or everyone you know is love and no one love is going to die. So what do they do? They do that. Don't listen, you've been told that for a reason. I mean, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> a I lot just, of, I hate that's a lot of stories in books, though. I know, yeah, but then we're, yes, I know it's a Chris Crack, you know. My new one, because I've only really clocked it because someone else said this, and I've, I've realised how much it irks me now that I, most of my books have this, is the female character is only strong she's lost something yes. something traumatic happened to her and she it's replayed constantly about this character male characters oh they're just strong yeah, they're men just are strong, strong. men are the stronger species don't you know <laughs> that's why i decided to become one. Oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> trauma um <laughs> <laughs> yeah no i i know what you mean yeah that is a very annoying so why can't women be strong without having trauma or why can't why i hate when Women are strong because men are empowering them to be strong as well. In a lot, here's the thing though: a lot of people use this as a as a way to make them fall in love with a strong male character. Oh, I hate it. But what, right? So, if I hate when they make love stories, just thinking of love stories. If you if you're a strong female character, you have to have a you have to have a love interest. <laughs> and why? And why is it why does it have to be a man? That's true. There you go. <laughs> I'm not an alien from space. Oh, Janine, I have. In the book. There's so many. Saucy. So, yes. There's <laughs> the. <laughs> I'm listening. I can't remember. There's always like, 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 like the ice for bearings man of space or something like that. Yeah. Like, <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> there's so many. I know, that's that's when I'm reading bed, is it? <laughs> <laughs> like this. Dale will be asleep and you'll go. <laughs> and he'll be like. What are you laughing at? <laughs> Alien penis. Um, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> there's so many. It, only because it flags up every now and then, yeah. like YouTube and TikTok, because TikTok's a weird place for books, right? Is it? See, I don't. It's it's a weird. And it's all men jumping. <laughs> what <laughs> men jumping in joggers? <laughs> That's basically what my TikTok is. Men you joggers. It's <laughs> really great joggers. <laughs> yeah, it's the algorithm. I can't help it. Uh, Right, sorry, go on. Anyway, I can't remember what was that. Oh no, alien. <laughs> alien, but the blue barbarian smells. But something like that. There's so many. Yeah. Like, it's it's mental. And, but there's one that I've, that's popped up quite recently. I don't know if you've seen it around. It's the haunting of Adeline. No. So TikTok, I don't know how they do this. They bring books to like the popularity of these certain books. And they're kind of messed up. So the haunting of Adeline, I would probably, this is like stalker romance. He kills <sighs> someone and leaves fingers for them. Right. Of the dead person, right? And tries to get to fall in love with them and stuff like that. But she doesn't know that he's doing it, but these things just happen around her. Um, does she fall in love with him? I don't know. I refuse to read the book because... Because it's... Yeah, it's, it's stalker. Yes, but there's such, like, ravings about it on TikTok that it's become, like, this huge thing. And I'll read it for you if you want, and then I'll give you my opinion. It's like a thousand pages. <laughs> oh, no! I can't read a thousand pages in a day! <laughs> Oh, could you? I've read, I've read a book and a half in a day. A half in a day? Mm -hmm. I'm dying. What kind of books? Huh? <laughs> no, my mum lent me one as well. Um, was Our it... mum is the same person. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, mum, you know, you, you know, you know, you know, mum, don't you? Yeah, 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 the German, yeah. yeah. She lent, she's lent me a few. Um, one of them, was it the Wayward Sisters? So, it's set like centuries apart. So, it's about wayward women mm. who are witches. So they always have a firstborn, which is a girl, and the witches, and it's set in, you know, where the Salem witch trials? Yeah. And then in the 70s, and then the present day, but all the stories are sort of interlinked because they're all family and related, but they don't know. It, but then how do they find out if they don't? Ah. Really? Witches. <laughs> yes. Witches. <laughs> 
<laughs> you have to bring it back. It's really, it's good. Okay. And then there was another, I can't, I say my mind, you know, my mind, your mind just goes blank. Yeah. But I have read a few good ones. And I can't remember. <laughs> Two girls. <laughs> and a ball. <laughs> yeah. An Auschwitz. An Auschwitz. Because, <laughs> like, I'm very much like dad in the regard for books, because dad's yeah. mainly a fantasy person. Right? Yeah. And he liked his sci-fi. Mm -hmm. And he wants to get back into reading. Is he? Yeah, but I'm like, pinned all his books and we have to start from scratch again. <laughs> and I talked to him about this, I had a full-blown conversation. He was like, you so love reading Stephen King. I yeah. thought you were going to sneeze. No, no. Um, I remember a book. I got Obviously, one of the books that I can't remember to. what it was called. But I, I think it was called about the porn, porn, porn of prophecy or something. No, no. I, this is one of the books that he used to read. He had the whole series. Yeah. Well, and I found that in... But I, I wanted to get into it because like, I remember well, drawing the dragons. Be. Anne McCaffrey. Yeah, yeah. she did... If you have a look, I'm sure she did one. I'm, so, I'm not going to... Okay, go on. Um, I like these because books aren't this size anymore. These are pocket books. Yeah. These fit in pockets well on men's pockets, not women's pockets because your oh, pockets don't exist. Well, it was. well this is just going to show the books for this series though in this. Yeah, but if you ever wanted to get my book, I remember Porn of Prophecy. I remember him telling me to well, read it and I tried to do it. Yeah, and it had a map in it and everything. Well... Um, and I can't... I think that's what it was called and that'd be a good present to get for Dad. Well, here's the thing though. He... You can't remember the name for these certain books. One, the, the, the Stephen King books, because he was a huge Stephen King yeah. fan. One of them was about a kid who's, I think, like, his, one of his parents died, and he realises that he could, like, go to, like, alternate universes or something like yeah. that. And then he met this kid who could turn into a werewolf. You can't remember the name for that series. He wants to read it. He, I don't know if it's a series, but he wants to read it. Yeah. I can't figure out what the... Stephen King's written Sorry, a lot of books. Like, over, like yeah. a lot, a lot of books, and under different names as well. <laughs> So. Could you, I know this probably sounds well, I'm sure there'll be people who can help us with these. Mm. But is there not some. <laughs> with, with Google, because you're not typing like what the book's about? Different kind of books pop up. He, uh, he's done a lot of books. Like Another one yeah. that, that he was into was this guy had um, leprosy. <laughs> and. Um, yes. Um, he could, like, whenever he went to sleep, he was in a different. Yeah. Sort I of do place. vaguely remember that one as well. Yeah. He described to me, and it has, like, sexual assault in it and stuff like that. And his dad was explaining to me, and mum was just there mortified. She was like, Books. but i was like cool i need to find these books he can't remember the names of them he wants to read them again yeah and i'm just like i kind of want to read them too find me someone out there who could help us hopefully mm. <laughs> i hope so yeah please help help <laughs> help us by gift for our daddy yes <laughs> yeah there's a good book i've read mm. don't want okay go on it's an autobiography of michael jackson no by... i'm not surprised no, by brandy tabarelli randy randy it came out when i was like a teenager like late teen but it was very unbiased. Like, so he grew up taking pictures of Michael when he was in the Jackson 5 and sort of followed his career through pretty much everything. Yeah. And it was very, very unbiased. So even, you know, with the case with Geordie Chandler, like how obviously people have the suspicions. His dad was very, very suspicious. And you say, you know, I'm not saying that Michael didn't do it, but he basically drugged his own son in a dentist and got his son to confess but these these drugs are known to um cause to cause people to say things but yeah but then on the other hand you know no, but but it was very unbiased or... it wasn't sort of like because he he's very you know he's a big michael jackson fan mm. and it was, it was so unbiased because he wasn't saying you know that he was innocent he didn't do it it was just like hey, look this is what happened this you know so that's why some people say he's innocent but he also knew a lot yeah. This child. So, if you could give any recommendation of any book, it depends on what genre. It, okay. I'm trying to think. So, what about if you just got not got like one book? It doesn't matter which genre that you just you've loved. That you just have been like, oh my god. Because for me, it was you know the flowers in the attic that I bought. Yeah. And then I found out. I think I've read about. There's a massive series. So even after she died, a family. <laughs> carried on I've read See, about seven of them I would love to say it's something horror based but it's not yeah it's actually fantasy I've got oh, it's right. my fantasy era at the moment yeah so there's two books one's called Feybound which is this book here there, this is the first it. book the second book's coming out soon ooh <laughs> sorry ooh, ooh. See, oh yeah what are these I, I've had bits that I really liked or, or I thought was really good right, or I so... thought was like emotional something that I want to talk about yeah oh right okay yeah I don't ever think you've got some really good like fancy ones yeah. but you've got no you've got some like really really fancy ones and i don't think i've ever seen this fancy books this came out this year 
uh, when they first when new books come out for the first time, they're hardback. Oh, that day. Yeah. And then about six seven months later, they come out paper. Paper. So that the second book's coming out early next year. Yeah. So it's literally a brand new series. Uh, Sarah El Arifi loved the book. First time I read Faith Fantasy. Amazing. Lesbians. Yeah. Lesbian Faith Fantasy. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> See, I'd love to borrow it. But... You can borrow it. Just spam on your book. You just spam my book. <laughs> um, no. But I'm um, just. I will. I will lend you this. I'm too scared of like. I'll lend you it. It's no. Fine. No, because what if I do something? And it's I, fine. I, what if? What if it's not new? When... <laughs> well, when you read, take off the dust. Where does the spine get cracked? It's a hardback. Spines don't crack on them. Oh, well, you learn something new every day. I'll borrow it if you if you keep this here. Well, not now, so I don't have anything to yeah. carry it in. I'm yeah, not no, walking I'll, home with next it Next time you're here, hand. I'll happily lend you that. Okay, yeah, no. The other one is a new series. That the third book's coming out. I've, I've special ordered, uh, I've pre-ordered a special edition of the third book, and it's The Fourth Wind by Rebecca Yaros. Yeah, but can I have a look at it's that? It's literally the two big books behind you. The Please. Set, yeah, The Fourth Wind's the first book go for this one um, so the fourth one you said is the first yeah that's okay, the first and what's book. this one about dragon oh, dragon six kind of <laughs> <laughs> so there's a bit <laughs> where okay so there's a whole would thing would you lend this one to me as well i would lend this one to you yeah yeah so i yeah. can't i can't i can't break it can't crack this one no you're fine <laughs> i know how you are you books. I, I'm, I wouldn't have the pressure of having the cover on it so you would have to take the cover off because i thought i've bent the cover already well yes. i don't care but i'm not bring, i'm not i've been responsible for that you take the cover off okay i love that um, you know everything that goes into it i love but I'm female main character oh yeah strong independent <laughs> but she has that disease um very similar to bristle bone disease all right but she goes to a school she's forced into a school where it's like as soon as you join in uh, you can die. You, you're right. fighting other other students and stuff like that uh, to try and get to a bit where you can bond with a dragon. Oh wow! Okay, I love how they do things like this. You know how the detail it goes in. You got like the nice little. They're so good. I just uh, yeah. Um, she's called uh, Violet, but the guy who she thinks is going to kill her calls her Violent. Oh okay. Sorry. Sometimes, yeah. Yeah, no, you I'm not with be... that. Special edition is gonna, uh, it's gonna have the, f the sprayed edges. Oh, you know, what, the sprayed edges oh, like gold. black like, and oh, gold different... with designs all on it. That's. Oh, I've never seen anything like that. See, cute. I'm just like, I'm not. Don't get me wrong. I do love to read and things, but I just think fancy books like this. This, I, I need don't... to. I'm quite happily now investing. You know. Yeah, that's books. what I. That's what my money goes. I don't smoke anymore. They go into nice books. Yeah, you do what you need to, don't yeah. you? Um, I didn't start this series. I, normally, I don't read fantasy. This is the first time I've gone into yeah. like fantasy properly. This is uh, people know him as Ven, um, who oh. told me to read it. All oh, right, okay. And for people who don't read fantasy, is it a the, good the, start? It's a good start because yeah, you don't, you're not into like you don't see all the tropes and stuff like that. Mm. So it's just easily overlooked. And I was just reading, I got really into it. And I was yeah, like, damn. Yeah, that's it. You just went so good when a book. I suppose when I can read a book in a day, when it just gets you, yeah. and you just can't stop. It's like, you know, the same as like, you know, when you binge watch a series. Yeah. It's the same with a book. You just think, oh, right, I need to do this. So I'll just finish this chapter, then I'll do what I need to do. Then you're like, I One can't, more I can't, I can't stop. Every chapter in Fourth Wing. Oh, yeah. And it's kind of like a cliff. So you have oh, to you end so, up yeah. reading the whole thing. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, two days pass. Well, that's finished. <laughs> yeah. What next? <laughs> When's this next one out? <laughs> so, um, so, so the second book is Iron Flame. Yeah. And then the third book is called Onyx something. All right. All right. But she's the best thing is the author, Rebecca Yarrow, she's doing this thing on Twitter and stuff where she's changed like her little display picture. Oh, so okay. the first one was a picture of the dragon and it said underneath it three. And people realise that's the dragon from the first book. Chapter three. So they read the first line. And uh, then yesterday or today she changed the picture to uh, a different dragon from the first book and it's it's 22 but the 20 scratched out so they realize it's page 20 okay. chapter 2 the first line of that or the first top line of chapter of page 20 and then the first line of chapter 2 yeah and it's bringing like everyone's like losing their minds on what it's hinting at and everyone's like oh my god is it good, is it good like conspiracy theory oh there's so many is there what's it's, your favorite um I can't because it'll ruin the book. Oh, right. I yeah, can't don't tell you. Yeah, no, don't. I can't, if you're <laughs> going to read them and borrow them. If you're going to lend it me, I'm not. I can't tell you. Okay. I wish I could. 
No, I don't want to know now. Yeah, I can't tell you and I really want to tell you now. No, you. <gasps> What's this one? The Seeker of... They're all... So all these the... books here... Games? They're, they're solo adventure books, so like... Yeah. Like, you are a character yeah. and you roll dice and stuff I had like a dream that. about a book last night. Oh, yeah. Where it was one of them where you read it and then you have to choose what you do. Yes. And then you go back to a page. Yeah, that's what they I, I dreamt about one. <laughs> that's what all these are, yeah. Yeah. Are they, are they bo- are them books accept- acceptable for you to... They have card sheets in the back. Ah, so that's what you use. I use paper. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm I really anal. <laughs> well, you know what, though, yeah? No. <laughs> no, I'm done. No, no, no. I need to... I have got a book, but I just can't get into it at the moment. So, do you... So, DNF is what you did not finish. Do you do that a lot? No. You just plow through it. Yeah. No, I do. Well, well, no. There is one that I've been nursing for about a week, so that that one actually could be her DNF. Yeah. Because I'm just thinking, I just can't be bothered with that one. I just don't like. It. I just it's not gripping me. About um children with past lives, you know, where they're like reincarnation, oh. and it apparently it's, it's some woman. It's apparently like where she's like writing about her experiences of meeting these kids, and I've, I've got about four chapters in, and I'm just like. What I've learned is um, always try to leave 100 pages. It doesn't pick up by then. Yeah, it's but not you're not going to get into it. A book that I read that I pushed to finish reading with then yeah. was one called The Whistling by Rebecca Netley. Oh, yeah. And where is it? Uh, it's alphabetical. The Whistling. Okay. So just read the back. This Tell me, does this sound interesting? Yeah. Like that's that. Yeah. This is a type of book that I would love. Just from the back. That's I why love. I bought it. I accidentally bought it three times. I sent one to Neil. Oh, yeah. Who did what we read and sent one to Greg. Oh, you're not going to spare one. You can happily have this book. Run it back? No. Okay. <laughs> I need you to read it and come back to me because oh, yeah, definitely. that blurb is not what you think. Okay. Good or bad? Is this one you? This was a nearly. Oh, I nearly stopped reading it. I pushed okay. through it. Yeah. It's 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 gothic horror, I think of it like that. Okay. I it, But it doesn't feel like it. Yeah? Okay. It's okay. just like, a, for me, this was a meh book. Oh, was it? Well, I've got a day off tomorrow, so my, my, my plan is, I'm me glad too. that I'm coming, because you know, my plan is to do what I need to do in the house, get some washing done, clear up. I'm just going to sit and read. So, talk to me when you do it or something. Yeah, I will do. And I'll come back on, and I'll let everyone know. See, so you were... Were you impressed? Yes, or no? I was not I mean, impressed. Yeah, it's not gonna, it's not gonna bias me completely because everyone's got different. Exactly. So you bought this for the blurb? Yeah. Because it sounds good. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> what time? Do you, when, when do you think this book is set? Old days. What's what? What kind of era is old days? Eighteen hundred. You know what's pretty good. <laughs> is it? <laughs> yes. It's not. <laughs> but it feels like it. <laughs> oh, so is it nowadays? No. Okay. Because <laughs> the name Elspeth doesn't. Yes. <laughs> doesn't give you 21st century vibes no it? there's a lot of weird names. Okay. i love the name elspeth though yeah. <laughs> <laughs> i don't know what to do <laughs> it sort of reminds me of um, wicked elphabeth elspeth elspeth so when is it set rock okay i just thought a word oh i'm not putting on there this um yeah. rock 1940s 1950s yeah yeah, that, you don't say frock, frock. No one says frock unless yeah. you're from the 40s or 50s. Yeah. Is that what it said? Pretty much, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> That's it. All I to see was one it says the word frock. No one uses that term anymore. Not, no, <laughs> not in these days. No. <laughs> not unless you're from the 1940s or 1950s. Yeah. Or you're really old. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah. So I'll read that and we'll, I'll come back on and then I can give you my thoughts. If I had to power through, if not. I'll make if some you notes. don't, <laughs> you give it to someone else. No, I say I'll make some notes yeah. so I can come back. Yeah, no, I'll absolutely. I'll make some sheet because I'll do I'll do. Prompt. I do, I do that. No, no, no I'm no. done. Good. I'm We're good. We're good. That lot. We have. Thank you for joining me. Yeah, today. thank you so much for joining. So yeah, thank you for watching. Yeah, thank you very much. Thank you for having me on. Comment your thoughts and everything that we've talked about down below. And if you've got any good recommendations, absolutely. Let us know. Yeah. Cheers. <laughs>